What is up guys, it is me Opar and welcome back to my channel. I am here for another episode of Dan Gan Romper. And yeah, let's just go. Let's just get straight into it. Dot dot dot. My body feels so heavy this morning. It must be because I was up so late last night. Anyway, I need to get to the dining hall. Let's go to the dining hall. Yeah, yeah. We're going to the dining hall so that we can talk to all of my friends. They're really neat. So maybe one of them will give me some meat to eat for bricky fast. I should turn my light on so I'm not so dark. Right. Here we go. Yo, yo, yo. You're one minute late, Makoto. How do you explain this? So, sorry, I'm not so f feeling so well, great today. Your problem? You really think a tired excuse like that is, is gonna work? Huh? huh? Are you allowed to talk again? I don't recall giving you permission. Huh? I just thought, I mean, since a day had passed, uh, maybe reset? So, 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 so sorry, please don't hate me. Whatever my punishment is, I'll accept it. I'll hang a sign for my next set that says bad girl. I'll clean your bathroom with my toothbrush. If you stop making dis disgusting comments like that, maybe I can forgive you. Thank you. I won't make any more disgusting comments, I promise. If I do, you can stuff in my mouth in my mouth full of trash. As long as it's you know and no one else, I don't mind. Uh, it's no you. She's disgusting to the bone. So, um... Anyway, where's Kyoko? I haven't seen her this morning. Could it be? Not cool. This is the worst. Then being late. This is worse than being late for lunch, for a date, for your wedding, for anything. Um. Maybe she's mad about what happened yesterday and she's not going to show up anymore. I can't tell the others why Kyoko might not be here. The best thing to do right now is just keep Very quiet. Strange. Whatever her reason is, I'm curious to know what she is doing. I know she's not in her room, so... You know? Oh yeah, you still have her key, right? What's this? Ah, are you looking for Miss Kitty Kitty? What, what? Whoa, what do you want now? Hey, hey. I'm right, right? You're wondering where Miss Kitty Kitty is, right? Do you know where she is? Hmm, well, it's hard to say. Huh? Huh? You don't know either? What? It's because he doesn't know. That's why he's here, to try and prod us for information. Uh-huh. Hey, don't you hate it when you ask someone what their favorite movie is and they name some indie bullcrap? You hate it, Tilly? Very suspicious. I feel like I'm getting whiplash the way he changes subjects like that. Thank goodness, it looks like Monokuma really didn't notice. So I guess our plan went off just fine last night. Which could mean... Hey. Maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Could she have been right about that? Hey! Hey! So, was I right? You're looking for Miss Kitty Kitty! Any idea where she might have gone? Hm. We have no idea. What the heck? Even if we didn't know, we wouldn't tell you. What the heck? For serious? Hmm, I see. Well, fine, whatever. I don't even care anymore, sayonara suckers. As soon as he was gone, we all glanced around at each other. So, what was that just now? Does that mean Monokuma doesn't know where she is either? It would seem that way. You know? Where the heck should, could you have gone? Don't you think we should all go look for her? Hmm. And how would you suggest we approach that task? Even Monokuma can't seem to locate her. Very suspicious. Yeah, how can he not know where she is? Yeah, totally. So strange. Hmm. Kyoko must have used that key to sneak into some unknown part of the school. But somewhere even Monokuma wouldn't notice? Where could it be? We spent the rest of breakfast talking about where Kyoko could have gone, and afterwards we returned to our rooms. So now what? Is it free time? Do I hang out with someone or... What do I do? Phew! Breakfast didn't help me feel any more upbeat, that's for sure. I feel like this is more than just me staying up late last night. Okay, so it's free time, so I guess I can hang out with someone. But secretly, I really want to go check out the principal's office. They must have fixed the lock. Kyoko said Sakura had broken the lock in this door. Does that mean it's been fixed already? Well, I should have known it wouldn't be that easy. And what a- no, not the- not the damn office. 
Okara. God damn it. We want to check out the flippin'. I want to check out the flippin'. The IT room. Because she. Didn't she say something? I feel like. I feel like she said something about this, the starter lab here. It's locked too. The door and budget must be locked. Okay. Well then I guess we'll hang out with someone. Who, who are we gonna hang out with? <sighs> who we got? We got those guys in the garden. I've really only got two people I wanna hang out with and that's Hina and Hito. Huh. Oh hero, oh hero, oh hero, oh hero, 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 hero. Let's hang out with Hero some more, cause we're becoming good friends with Hero. Oh, so Monokuma seems like super advanced, right? I think maybe we've been caught in the middle of something terrible. A global revolution by the ancient civilizations that we've ruined, the alien technology will destroy us. Or maybe not. I don't know. Hmm. Should I? Yep. Spend some time with Hiro. Hmm. Huh? You want to hang out with it's me? Like well then, have mystery. I got a story for you. My research revealed a surprising connection between Tokyo Tower and the Lost Lemurian Civilization. Sick. Hiro spent a lot of time talking about stuff that didn't make any sense to me. Hiro and I grow a little closer today. Yes. Definitely. What would you like to give him? Hmm, what would I like to give him? What does this do? Oh, I gave it to him. I didn't read it. <laughs> I'll take whatever I can get my hands on. That's just my style, man. Does that mean he liked it? Yo. I'm surprised how well you and me get along, Makoto. Seems like we hang out all the time these days. Is that a bad thing? Hmm. Oh no, not at all. And since we're such good friends, can I ask you something? <laughs> Wait, I totally realized something just now, completely out of nowhere. I feel like I'm about to see the performance of a lifetime. Well? Say, Makoto, have you been feeling down in the dumps? No energy, no spark. Huh? You think so? You know? Oh, you don't have to hide it from me. I know what it's like. I've been there. And you know what I'd recommend? Hmm. This! What is it? You know? A crystal ball! Okay, hmm. and... Just hold on to it for a second. Here, here. Completely against my will, Hiro shoved the crystal ball into my well? hands. What do you think? Nice and cool to touch. Feels good, doesn't it? Uh, actually, yeah. Mm. You can feel his power, can't you? Hmm. Do I feel it? How about that? It's the ancient power of our timeless Mother Earth. For serious. You see, that crystal ball has quite the history. It was found in the ruins of Atlantis. It is literally a pl priceless, one-of-a-kind artifact. This pr precious item grants enormous power to whoever holds it, bringing prosperity and peace of mind. This very ball has known to the, known the touch of Napoleon, George Washington, and even Genghis Khan. I think that's probably the single most unbelievably unbelievable thing I've ever heard. Hmm. Well, I'd like to give it to you as a present. In return, I'd like you to come with me to a little seminar when we get out of here. And don't worry, I'll see you about getting a discount on your entry fee, because that's what friends do. That's really nice of you and all, but I'm not sure I'm really interested. Sorry, the crystal ball has already acknowledged you as its proper owner. It wants to stay with you. It needs to stay with you. It has given itself to you. So now you gotta keep your promise. You don't want uh, you don't want to know what the thing does to Oathbreakers. <laughs> oh, it's so hard to talk. Okay, I'm counting on you, pal. Refusing to take the, the crystal ball, Hito hurried away. But I could hear him mumbling to himself and caught something about finally made my quota. I really hope I heard him wrong. Hero's report card has been updated on your experience with him. Oh, I just got crystal prediction. Nice. Cool. I decided to go back to my room for a while. Now, apparently you can finish your report card. And maybe I kind of want to aim to finish Hero's report card because that'd be kind of fun. Yeah, I feel even worse than I did this morning. My body feels like lead, and now I'm getting chills. This is bad. I think I might be getting sick. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, let's just keep hanging out with Hito, because he's a he's a good guy. I really like Hito. Like, he's a little innocent. He's a little like fluffy, you know. I, he's so he's funny. Where is he? He's in the kitchen. Sweet. Let's go to the kitchen and hang out with him a bit more. Let's hang out with 
Hero, 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 hero. I don't want to hang out with them because they're doing their own thing. They're doing their weird, creepy stuff that doesn't really. I'm not really a fan of. But I'm keen, super keen, to hang out with Hero again. What the heck? A certain organization is behind all of this. I'm finally sure of it. But I can't say their name because as soon as you do, they come and get rid of you. Kurt Cobain said their name. John Lennon said their name. Uh, They're bad. So bad. Really, really bad. Hmm. Should I spend time with Hero? Yeah. Well? Well then, why don't we have a heated discussion about cosmogony? He says that a lot. I'm getting better at saying the word cosmogony. I learned all about Hero's theories on the origin of the universe. Hero and I grew a little closer today. Yes, definitely. I like giving Hero presents. He's, he gave me a crystal ball after all the stuff I gave him, which is quite... What about the ring? Would you like it? What's it do? It stands as proof of friendship between those who spent their youth together. Friendship! Whoa! I've always wanted one of these. Really? My god, my Buddha, my Makoto! I'll never forget what you've done for me! Really? What? I get the impression he liked it. That's good. This is getting serious, man. When are we gonna get out of here? The world is so big, so freaking huge, and we've all been stuffed into this one tiny little corner. I guess even Hero is starting to get stressed out by all of this. I think he was stressed out on the first day. Can we talk man to man? I haven't told anyone else, but I need to get this off my chest. Huh? What is it? Hmm. There's a big reason why I'm so anxious to get out of here. A big reason? I'm super worried, man. I'm afraid someone's gonna bust into my house and steal my collection. What collection? How about that? I've been surfing black markets and back channels to build a huge collection of oop arts. Huh? No reaction. Wait, don't tell me you don't know about oop arts. You know about oop arts. Out of place artifacts. Stuff they find in the ruins of ancient civilizations, but with no explanation how it could have got there. The crystal skulls, the golden airplanes of Columb- Golden airplanes. The Baghdad battery, just to name a few. What the heck? But oop arts can be more than just artifacts. For example, I definitely classify the famous geoglyphs of South America as oop arts. Famous Aztec Nazca Samba. Aztec? I think it's Aztec. Are you talking about those lines the Aztecs made? Huh? Hmm? The Aztecs definitely know their way around that stuff, but... That. Nope, sorry, when it comes to Uparts, the big Aztec contribution was the Crystal Skulls! So that's not it. Nazca? Those are the only two I know about. Oh, those are called the Nazca lines, right? Whoa. You got it, Ace! Why Ace? Yo. Plenty of museums and research centers claim to have all of these different Uparts. But well. you see, here's the shocking truth. For all of them, the real deal is at my house. Did I shock you? Did the truth slam into your soul like the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs? But you have all that stuff at your house? Mm. Yep, got it mostly through the internet. It's more valuable to me than anything. He's gotta be the world's biggest sucker. See, that's why I love him. Ugh. I've invested every penny I have into that collection, which is why I'm so worried. If that stuff gets stolen while I'm gone, It'd just be the most tragic tragedy. You know what I've had to go through to get that stuff? Why do you think I got held back? Like, you know, three or four years, huh? <laughs> oh, uh, nothing. Forget about that last part. Okay. Anyway, everything I've read is that when you really do re serious research on those artifacts, most times they you end up finding out that there's a perfectly normal explanation for them. <laughs> Don't be stupid, you stupid Makoto. It's a government cover-up. They want to hide the ancient aliens in the secrets of the universe. So tell me again. So tell me again, how much you hate the occult? How about that? This isn't the occult. It's about aliens and ancient civilizations living together. Yes, it's possible. I don't think there's anything I could say to change his mind. Cool. Got more skill points. Sick. When Hiro and I were done talking, I headed back to my room for a little while. And now it's night time. Or something creepy's going to happen because it's that sound. Girl, I'm getting the chills. I feel like kind of dizzy. I can't help it. I need sleep. Nighttime wasn't for a while, but I felt like my body had reached its limits. As I dropped onto my bed, I felt like I was falling into a bottomless pit. 
Uh oh. I was unconscious before my head hit the pillow. <laughs> well, that's not quite true. I didn't pass out completely. It was more like my consciousness went dim. I weaved back and forth between sleep and wakefulness. Which is all to say... I'm having mad sweats. I'm having a serious fever. I was restless. Am I gonna die? At some point, I found myself wandering through a sweat. Strange dream. What? And within the dream, a voice echoed across the walls of my mind. I under... understand. I don't... That voice. It's so familiar. It's mine, right? Ah, it's... I understand. It's mine. It's me, yeah. I... understand. What, what do I understand? I understand everything. Why? My goal isn't to get out of here. What? It's... to stay here. What? Huh? What am I trying to say? Hope? This is all... for hope. And that's why... I have to stay. Okay. I have... to stay here. Sorry, what? I have to stay here. Uh, uh, my dream just now. What? I don't know, man. So strange. It was. Huh? Huh? <gasps> no! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This isn't allowed to. No, this isn't allowed to happen. No. No, 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 I, I don't want to keep going. I don't want to. <gasps> no way. What? What the heck? What did you say? So confused. What the heck just happened? I thought I was I thought I thought I was getting killed. Cool. Should I bother catching it? I don't really care that much. Every day is peaceful. Every day is joyful. Happy days from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Wishing only those unchanging, unending happy days. Days of boredom repeating forever and ever. No abnormalities as far as the eye can see. Life without the tiniest speck of abnormality. If the world were like that, I'd consider that pretty damn abnormal. I don't even know what he was talking about that time. Bing bong. Cool. Another day, another dollar. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Do I feel Get bitter? Ready to greet or do I still feel sick? Beautiful day. Was I seeing things? Uh, I still feel sick. It took longer than usual for me to open my eyes. Huh. I let out a deep sigh to bring myself up the rest of the way. The chills that aches the unfathomable lethargy that had all disappeared in the night. Oh, that's good. All that was left was me, drenched in sweat. It wasn't just because of whatever bug I'd caught, either. It was also the dream I'd had. What the hell was that? I mean, was it even really a dream? What, the guy in the mask or me talking? I was desperate to recall it. I scrambled to grab onto fragments of the dream and reeled them up from the depths of my memory. That's right, I remember last night. I 
came down with a fever and couldn't quite get to sleep. And I heard a voice. I didn't, I didn't really understand it then. All of a sudden I was awake. And there was a strange person standing next to my bed wearing a mask. And they were holding a knife. I want to stay, say I fought them off, but I don't actually remember. I felt like my mind had been detached from my body burning up with the fever. I was somewhere far away watching my body move on its own. And because of that, I don't remember what really happened. But still, I feel like I resisted them desperately, feverishly. And after that, things go black again. The next thing I remember is Kyoko. Kyoko was there. But what would she have been doing in my room? She's obviously sleeping in your room. What a strange dream. No, was it really a dream? How can I possibly find out either way? Ah, that's interesting. I should look for some kind of ev- Oh, the knife. Is the knife still here? Did they actually take the knife? I opened the desk drawer and... Huh? It's empty. There's nothing inside. Wait, nothing inside? That's strange. Because it definitely wasn't before. I'm positive I put the knife I got from Toko in there. Wait, that means... That the person who took the knife they told me to keep safe has been taken. I knew it. I just had a feeling. It wasn't a dream after all. But if that's true, this makes even less sense. Why would someone have wanted to attack me? And who was that behind the mask? And what? why was Kyoko? What the hell is going on? Well, I don't think I'm going to figure it out on my own. Let's get to the dining hall. Then I can talk to everyone else about it. Ah, shit. This is bad. This is real bad. So it's been two days. Is this the final day? And then, then we find out that the guy in the mask or girl in the mask dies. I don't know. Hey, Makoto. Ah, Makoto. Yep, that's Makoto. Sure as this guy's blue. I don't know what happened to her voice. Hey, Hina. How are you? Um. You really had me worried, you know. What happened to you last night? Worried? Yeah, right after nighttime hit, we all went to get you. We were hammering away at your doorbell, but you never answered. We thought maybe you'd been, you know. <laughs> I mean, not that, not that that actually happened. I mean, nobody here would want to, you know. So anyway, what were you doing? I didn't feel good, so I went right to bed. I had no idea you guys even showed up. But why did you come to get me? Did something happen? Mm. Um, well, lots of stuff. Actually, I'm not sure I can really okay. explain. Let's go meet up with everyone else, then they can tell you about it. What do you mean? Are they... So is everyone waiting somewhere else or something? Oh yeah, we all stayed up the whole night. What? The whole night? <laughs> I lost that rock, paper, scissors, so I had to come get breakfast for everyone. Okay. So you got here just in time. Come on, help me carry it. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> everyone's in the gym. Hurry up, I'll meet you there. The gym? Why is everyone in the gym? In the entire night? What? What? What's going on? Le yeah. Okay, I'll walk to the gym. What? What? I... And it, does everyone include Kyoko? Why did you guys pull an all-nighter? What is going on? I don't remember any of this from the anime. <laughs> oh my god. You know, I half expected to see Sakura when I came in here and that makes me sad. Because Sakura's always in there. Ah, there he Huh? Oh, hey, Makoto. Oh, is the person dead? This is worse than being late for your wedding, the birth of your son, and your funeral all at once. Jeez, to show up now like it's no big deal. <laughs> you made us stay up all night while you slept like a baby in your bed? Just like Hina said, everyone was there besides Kyoko, and then I noticed they formed a circle around something. As soon as I saw that, that what that something was... What the... Before I could catch myself, I cried out. Oh! Spread out in front of them were the remains of Monokuma. What are you doing? What does it look like? We're dismantling it to see what makes it tick. Dismantling? But I mean, that's Monokuma you're messing with, right? Yeah, that's right. What? Based. I'm... what? Hm. Relax, there's no danger. You say that, but... What is this? What are you guys doing? It looks like it had been professionally disassembled. 
How is that possible? Tearing apart something like that isn't dangerous? What's up, Hedo? Seriously, what are you thinking? How can you say tearing apart something like that isn't dangerous? Hey, come on. Well, I guess I'll handle this, because what's going on, Makoto? Because that's how much I like you. Oh, I'll explain. Hmm. Oh. Yokia found this little fe fella laying around. Then we tore it apart. That doesn't explain anything. What? Just before we went to bed last night, I came to the gym to try and talk to Monokuma. I wanted to see if he had any new information about Kyoko's disappearance. And I found him here, just like normal. However, when I found him, he was no more than a regular toy. He didn't react, didn't say a word. He was saying he wasn't moving at all. I waited there until nighttime officially began, but Monokuma laid there motionless. I gathered everyone up as quickly as possible so they could take a look. Even then, he still didn't make a move, so I immediately initiated this assembly process. <laughs> it was Master's stroke of genius, a chance to find out what made Monokuma tick. <laughs> One thing we discovered is that he is quite a sophisticated machine. It's the leagues beyond any normal remote control toy. Who has enough free time to invest in something like that anyway? But besides that, what I'm wondering is why did he stop moving all of a sudden? I thought maybe he had malfunctions, but we didn't find any cause as we were taking him apart. So if he didn't break down, in other words, then maybe something happened to his puppeteer, the mastermind, something unexpected. I can't imagine any other possibility. Something unexpected? <laughs> they were probably so scared of Master, they ran away in terror. Could it be? Or maybe they got sick or something. But Monokuma made his announcement this morning, right? Who was that, if not the mastermind? It's probably, yeah, a recording. It's set to a timer and plays as necessary. Mm. That's true. He says the exact same thing every day, right? Hey. hey guys, I don't think now's a good time for light conversation. I, I just found something. What is it? It's... Huh? What is... What's... Hmm. It's what? A bomb. There's one installed in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. What? Uh, b -b -b bomb oh. That's super bad. We need to get rid of it. Um. Roger that. Hmm. It appears the bomb has a motion sensor. In an any sudden movements, it's sure to go off. Motion sensor, but serious oh, I'm starting to get all shaky. Hey, get it together. You're a man, aren't you? Yeah. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Ah, oh. you're so not fine. You're all ah. Oh, oh. oh, I probably should have mentioned the motion sensor is off right now. <laughs> Jeez, don't scare me like that. God, you're like the world's most spineless worm of the century. Don't be me. Hey. Come on, the century's just getting started. Don't call the race already. <sighs> Whatever, just hurry up and put the bomb down. Hang on to it. It's not going to do anyone any good. Um, oh, yeah, good call. Well? Okay, it's done. Everything's all good. Okay. He would have put the bomb down, but that wasn't my main concern at that point. My eyes were glued to Monokuma's remains. He just stopped moving all of a sudden? Was it really because something had happened to the mastermind that they weren't expecting? But what could it, that have been when I thought about it? Was that the mastermind? I couldn't help but think back to the night before. Being attacked by that masked figure. Is that the mastermind? Just a second. Hey, uh, Makoto. Huh? Hey. Don't hurt us. Did you hear a thing we just said? Huh? Huh? So that's no. What are you, some kind of brain dead farm animal? Sorry. Hmm. We were saying, since we're done dismantling Monokuma, what should we do now? <laughs> and we've decided to continue our offensive assault. It's all clear now. To try and uncover the Mastermind's true identity, we're going to break into the Headmaster's room. Really? Naturally. Since the Mastermind appears to have stopped all activity, now's our chance, wouldn't you agree? But if the Mastermind comes back while we're in there, what? if you're scared, you're welcome to stay here by yourself. I could go and live in the chicken coop with all the other chickens. You can be chicken number six. Such ignorance. This is a battle, a fight to the death between us and the mastermind. We don't have time to deliberate. But... Yeah, I mean, I don't want to have to kill each other or anyone else, but we have a chance now. Come on. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to run away or are you going to fight? You're right, I'll go it's with you. Clear, okay, then, we're going to break into the headmaster's room. Everything comes down to this moment. Anything can happen, so prepare yourselves. I'll follow you anywhere, Master, to the ends of the earth. Sakura, if you can hear me, lend me your strength. How about that? I can do this. I'm a man and I can do this. I've got the will of the entire universe on my side. We each found determination in our own ways. And when we were ready, we left the gym. Our target was the headmaster's room on the fourth floor of the school.
Okay. I tried to go in here earlier. Let's go! Rattle, rattle. Hmm. It's locked, as expected. So what are you gonna do? Isn't it obvious we're gonna tear this door off its hinges? Wait, but the rules say... We've seen that the mastermind isn't watching us. Those don't matter anymore. But... But, like Makoto said, if the mastermind did show up while we were in there... So, in other words... Then we'll just have to finish our business before that can happen. Hey. Okay, sure, but... What? We've come this far. We can't back down now. We agreed this is what we have to do, so we have to do it. This is so beautiful. I mean... For serious? What the heck? We don't have any choice. We're desperate. Okay. Let's do it. Let's rip this door down. Actually... Okay, but how are we going to do that? This thing looks pretty sturdy. Then we'll need something sturdy of our own. Oh, what about that one thing? The pickaxe? The thing in the toy oh, shed? So oh, yeah, the pickaxe! I see. Interesting, that could very well be exactly what we need. Now then, Toko, what time is it? Well, when we left the gym, it was just before 9 o'clock, so it's probably 9 on the dot now. It's all clear. Okay, go get the pickaxe and be back here by 9.01. That's straight up unreasonable! I, by myself? Naturally. Surely, like you have the, your me time. Surely you like to have your me time once in a while, right? Well, if it's me and you, Time Master, then yeah. What? You know how much time it took you to say that? Ten seconds. Take too long and I'll erase your existence from my consciousness. Yeah. Unacceptable! With that, Toko ran off loud as a herd of rabid elephants. Hey. But serious though, we're gonna knock this door down. <laughs> no problem is solved by running away. Find your stones and be a man. He's right. You can't move forward by always avo avoiding danger. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, You'll never move forward. Huh. We know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? Even if it's dangerous, we have to overcome the challenges in front of us. Uh, um, maybe, but I'm still super stressed. I'm so tense I can hardly talk. I'm all flubbust. No. I'm totally flab bag, flab staff. Flap sauce? Gross, where'd that come from? Wait, Genocide Jill, where'd you come from? Hello, hello, it's Wondiferous Modiferous Fiend, here to greet you with a razor sharp smile. Come on. What about the pickaxe? Where is it? I was supposed to pick an axe? No, you seeping imbecile, the pickaxe. Seeping imbecile? Oh, master, you wound me with your executive level barb. Bushwash, here comes the bloody nose. Seriously, though, did you really forget the pickaxe? Give it a rest. Omega-3 fatty acids, that's what you need. Great for the old memory factory. But I think we already established that their memory doesn't carry over when they switch. Not possible. This is a level of uselessness I find difficult to tolerate. Oh, yes. Ah, the light bulb just went on. That's why I went to the garden, right? I was supposed to get the pickaxe. <laughs> All right, we've solved one mystery. That means there's just one more left. One more mystery? Mm -hmm. Yep, now we just need to figure out the uh, identity of Object X. What? So, um, now what are you talking about? Uh, did you already forget what we are talking about? You're like missing out on life. I'm not missing out on life. In fact, I found one in the garden. What? What did you find? <laughs> Co corpus. You did you hear me? I said corpse. A corpse? Yep. Sh that's right. I found a corpse in the garden. The guy in the mask. You found a corpse in the garden? What did you well say? then, before we head into the master's room, it appears we have something else to look into. We're going to the garden. Okay. Oh, here it is. As soon as we entered the garden, I saw it. I didn't want to, but... I saw someone laying on the ground with a mask covering their face. There was a knife. Buried in their stomach, up to the hilt. What the? Are they really dead? For sure, but who is who is it? The only one not here is Kyoko. Kyoko's got blood on. Just to make things clear, last night I was attacked by someone wearing a mask. And whoever that was, now they're... I don't know why, but now they're laying dead in front of me. <laughs> what? 
Well, guys, that is where I'm gonna leave this episode. I know, cliffhanger. I like leaving them on the kind of cliffhanger sort of things, or at the end of something. And we just moved from daily life to deadly life, so we're gonna leave it there for this episode. Hopefully we can get all the investigation st stuff done next episode. Then we'll move into the trial, and we must be nearing the end, I think. I'm not sure. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below, because it tells me that you guys enjoy the stuff that I make. And leave a comment. What the hell is going on? I say this every time. I want to know. I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I make. Stay safe, fam. See ya.